Hey everybody, my name is Jeremiah Craig and I am joined again by my wife, Brenna, and we just finished up recording a video about the JW Boot Company booties and we have another one here in this box except these ones are for me. Today, we are looking at JW Boot Company eel boots. What? So cool, let's get into it. So this is another video that's included in this month's giveaway. So if you win, of course you have eel skin boots as an option from JW Boot Company. Let's get right in to looking at these eel skin cowboy boots from JW Boot Company. But actually, before we do, I want to remind everybody that if you cannot wait to get your hands on a pair of JW boots, you can go to jwbootcompany.com right now, order yourself a pair, and get 10% off when you put in the promo code JC10 at checkout. Now I only have 50 of those promo codes available, so get on it because once they're gone, they're gone. All right, now let's get in to talking about these honey colored eel skin boots from JW Boot Company. Just like the other boots that we looked at, we have a leather outsole, some brass nails in here holding in that shank, a single stitched welt here, and th this is a Goodyear welt, so this can be resold. We have about an inch and a half stacked leather heel here with a rubber heel cap and some beautiful eel skin here. I've never had eel skin boots. I've never tried them before. So this is a very new experience. Now, eel has a bad rap for being a fragile skin. These don't feel fragile at all. Well, yeah, I know, right? But that's because they layer it. So it's not just one piece of skin here. There's like three or four. Hmm. They layer it so that it's not as fragile as eel can be known for. You definitely tell that this is real eel because there is some scarring. But you're gonna have that with anything that's a real leather that they don't have a terribly large piece of, anything that is eel, or we saw it actually in the Oculus uh, Python booties. There was yes. a little piece there. Um, so it's kind of like a unique point, I think. It's, you're never gonna find another pair of boots that are this. And that's why it's so much fun having authentic leather boots. It's not a super soft skin, but it's not super stiff either. What do you think of eel skin? Um, it kind of feels like a, f a really polished boot. There's obviously yeah. more texture since the strips are, are thinner, but yeah. I don't know. The it doesn't feel as uh, slippery as I thought it would feel. You see eel in photos and it's so highly polished and never worn, usually colored, and it looks almost like a plasticky, um, but it doesn't feel plasticky. It feels more like a leather than a plastic. Yeah, it feels nice. I would maybe be a little bit afraid of um, like a scratch or something on the toe. I have seen eel boots that do get chips in them. I, I guess that is probably a point where I'll have to be careful when I'm wearing these around. I mean, these are dress boot. This is not a boot that you want to go working in or anything. All right, you didn't even finish talking about the rest of the boot. I know, there's so much to this boot. The, the thing that surprised me the most about this boot is the detail in the shaft here. Now, this is all done by hand. So the inlay is cut by hand. It starts at the top of this tongue here all the way around the boot to the back and then also F hole shapes in the side of the shaft as well. And I like these. Uh, it sort of reminds me of like an upright bass or a cello. It's very musical 
for my eye anyways. Brenna and I were talking about the color yellow used in the shaft. I don't mind it very much, but you're not a huge fan of it and yellow is your favorite color. I know, and I don't know if it's necessarily the yellow or if it's the light brown that he's chosen to do underneath. Because it doesn't know. match the honey of the eel? Maybe that's what it is. I'm just saying the color combination doesn't scream super um, like luxury to me, um, but the quality of what they have put together here does. The art of this boot mm -hmm. is really nice. I think I like this much better than the stitching on the ostrich boot. Mm -hmm. it, it, a lot more attention went into this and a lot more thought in my personal opinion, and it looks spectacular. One of the things that I just noticed here is that you can actually feel how thin the eel is up here on the piece in the pull strap. Oh, yeah. It's super thin. There is definitely some layering going on there. You can definitely tell it's handmade as well. Mm -hmm. um, one of the ways is like this hand cut piece that you're talking about here that's so thin. It might be like the stitching isn't perfect. Yeah. There is um, like this piece that he's chosen to put in here. It doesn't necessarily like run straight up and down, doesn't align with this seam, like the seam is a little off center. Yeah. A small group of people of artisans put this shoe together, you can tell. And I personally like that there are small, I wouldn't even call them imperfections, they're just um, not perfect alignments. And for someone who really likes things to all fit together, something about the craft of this boot mm -hmm. makes me appreciate it a little bit more. Yeah, me too. It is leather lined through and through. Insole is about half leather down to the, about the ball of the foot. And then it is a cloth insole after that. But underneath is a foam insole. Pretty much standard from what's coming out of Leon. So it's nothing super special. Now this is a 12B. So one of the things that I really appreciate about JW Boot Company is that they are making narrow widths. Um, one thing to keep in mind though, as we will see when I try this boot on, is that the instep is a little bit higher. So in here, even though I'm a 12B, I'm expecting this boot to fit just a little loose still just because this part of the boot comes up a little higher, which is good for people with high insteps. But I have a narrow foot and a lower than average instep. So I'm just a really weird person to fit in general. So let's see what happens when we try this boot on. All right, so as I mentioned, the instep is just a little bit high for my foot, but I can fix that pretty easily by putting in some inserts in there. The eel skin feels a little bit stiffer than what I thought it was gonna feel like, but that's probably has to do with the fact that they are layering on several skins. The honey color is great. I think it's one of my favorite colors right now. I'm digging the shine that comes from eel as well. So now let's see what happens when we wear these for an extended period of time. Windy day, but I have a marketing consulting meeting here in Boston. So why not use the opportunity to wear an awesome dress boot and go with these JW Boot Company Eel Skin Boots. Great, great for these business meetings and other types of formal situations. Good meeting. She even asked me if 
I was wearing a brown belt with my brown boots. She was watching that video before, so she follows me on YouTube too. <laughs> These boots are very similar to the other JW boots that we looked at in that they look different in different lighting. So sometimes they are orange like my coat, sometimes they're more of a honey yellow. It is really interesting to see how these boots change, but they still look good no matter the lighting. I do notice that the eel skin is a little bit stiff and it's taking a little bit longer to break in than what I would have expected. So even though it is such a thin leather, the layering of this leather has just made it not the most comfortable boot that I've ever worn, but still, it looks great. I'm back with Blake again. We're talking about the eel skin today. Thank you so much for joining me again, Blake. The giveaway is winding down at this point, but we're still here. Let's start with the design here because this is different from the design on the blue ostrich uh, and the stitching in the shaft. Can you tell me a little bit about the inlay and the stitching on this boot? Through most of the boots, we keep our stitching the same, but with our heel, we decided to change the, uh, the stitching for it kind of have its own unique pattern. And we always have some light on all of those boots in, uh, in different areas. This one has a whole lot of it. It looks great. Let's talk about the eel skin. Now, this is my first time ever trying eel skin. I like it as a dress boot look. It seems like it's pretty thin. Like paper thin. That, that part is. But on the, on the vamp, it is not that thin. Yeah, tell me about how that works there. Several layers stacked. Several layers. Yeah, so you'll get a paper thick. And so they, they do a whole bunch of layers. That is uh, the biggest difference in eel skin now versus the way eel skin was done 20 years ago. That said, it is very much interesting. You, know, you don't want to go open bricks or anything. And that's because it's the shiny dress. Let's talk about the fit of a JW Boot Company boot. This is a 12B, so you sent me my true size. But it is, the instep is still just a little high, so I still gotta put a little insert in there to fill out that space. Can you talk a little bit about the JW Boot Company fit so people know what to expect if they decide to order from you? Our instep increases with every size. Mm -hmm. This part right here increases a little bit as the boot gets bigger. I have a really high instep, and if I get my size 10 and a half, I can't even get my, my foot into the boot. So that's the reason why we adjust the instep. We actually do uh, fit instep, but we do have adjustable instep. And so you know, that's something that we can take off. Awesome, Blake. Well, thank you so much for joining me again. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. All right, everybody, let's get into some of my final thoughts about this JW Boot Company Eel Skin Boots. Overall, I love the look of this boot. It is so beautiful from the color, from the stitching, the inlay. This is such a beautiful boot, but it's not the most comfortable boot in the toe box, I believe in the right foot, it felt like it came down just a little bit more. So that gave room for this stiff leather to crease and then it would just poke into my foot as I walked and it just wasn't comfortable. So I'm sure that will go away with time because I have felt that with other boots that I've tried, not eel skin, but just more of an inexpensive boot. Like it's a problem that I have when I wear Ariat boots. So they weren't really the most comfortable and also the B width is just a little off in my opinion. It felt too wide and the instep was just a little too high. I still had to fit a leather insert in there. So I think that they'll get their B widths down eventually. Right now they can't even do square toes in B width. 
they are only offering the round toe cowboy boots in a B width just because they're trying to make that transition, which I wholeheartedly respect. They just need to finesse the fit a little bit and then it will be perfect for those of us with narrower feet. Quick insert into the edit. I was looking at my JW boot company, Eel Skin Boots right now, and I noticed something weird here. As you can see, the counter of the boot is starting to sag a little bit, which leads me to believe that the material, the plastic that they have in the back of this boot just isn't high quality. I also saw this in my blue ostrich boots. So just know that your counters may sag a little bit as you wear this boot around. Maybe at some point, JW can put in some, I don't know, more durable material. But for right now, that cracks there and it feels like it's sagging and it just doesn't look that good in my opinion. So back to the rest of the video. But other than that, this is a great dress boot. I mean, it looks so good. And I think it's so cool that the coloring changes just a little bit when you move into different lit areas from fluorescent lighting to outdoor lighting. These boots take on a different personality with just a touch of a different shade. And it's really cool to experience. All right. so. Those are my thoughts about this boot. Really pretty, just not very comfortable, and the fit just needs finessing just a touch. Now it's time for the giveaway information. Remember, this is the last video, so if you're watching this on the release day or on the release week, the Boots and Ballads live stream is this Friday on February 28th, where I will be announcing three winners who get brand new JW Boot Company cowboy boots in their size. You get to pick your size, your leather, your color, your toe shape. You get to choose which boots you want. They're gonna be brand new. None of these boots, I'm not gonna send you any of these. You get to choose. So be sure to subscribe and enter at the link in the description. There's a form there, you gotta fill it out and then on Friday, February 28th, on the Boots and Ballads live stream, I will announce the three winners live on air. We're gonna be talking boots, playing music, and announcing the winners for the JW Boot Company giveaway. Thank you so much for watching today. Thank you so much for participating in this awesome giveaway. And I will see you guys on Friday. Peace, everybody. The feeling's more slippery than an eel. If they were more comfortable, they might seal the deal. Still, they look great for the dress occasions. And might be that slick look that you're chasing, yeah. My name is Jeremiah Craig. Thank you for watching today. I'll see you next time. Don't forget to enter the giveaway Yeah Yeah